So I don't usually, I almost never watch State of the Union addresses. I find them boring and uh, stupid and uninformative. And, uh, you know, I've, I, 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 a few times, I think, for Obama and then maybe once for Trump, I tweeted the State of the Union address kind of as I was listening. I was tweeting about it. So that was kind of fun. I got to complain about everything they were saying. But I had no intention of watching last night. I mean, Biden is a boring speaker. And again, State of the Union is boring, uninteresting, and they mean nothing, and they indicate nothing. Boy, was I wrong. God. I mean, I've, I've only watched a few clips, but based on the few clips that I saw, that was a raucous, entertaining event. I mean, um, wow. Uh, the, the, the Republicans yelled at Biden. Biden, you know... Uh, yelled back at them. Uh, Kevin McCarthy sitting in the back there, stone faced, shaking his head. Um, it was it was quite something. Uh, and I have to say, it, it, based on uh, the, just a, 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 at least in one exchange, it is clear that Biden had got the upper hand on the Republicans in a, <laughs> you know clever way that kind of caught them at their own contradiction. Which is which was perfect and shows how pathetic and how inconsistent and how ridiculous the Republicans are. So there's a section in the speech where he says, um, where he says, uh, yeah, and my the Republicans here who want to uh, uh, phase out or something like that, phase out Social Security and Medicare, and the Republicans all say, no, no, we don't want to do that. You're crazy. We don't want to do that. That's a lie. You're lying. What are you saying? And and they have a little bit of exchange. And Biden says, "Hey, I can send you. I can send you your own proposals. You, you you're making these proposals." And and they're saying, "No, no, we, we don't want to do that." And he says, "Okay, so can we agree? Can we agree that um, uh, in whatever we negotiate in the future? I mean, I'm paraphrasing here, obviously." Uh, whatever negotiations we have in the future that uh, no cuts to Social Security and Medicare, and all the Democrats stand up and give me a standing ovation, and then Republicans realize that they better stand up too because otherwise they'll be perceived as not supporting no cuts to Social Security and Medicare. So almost all the Republicans stand up and giving a standing ovation. Busted right, Rob. I mean, the Republicans gave him a standing ovation over no cuts to Social Security and Medicare. Because they were caught in a contradiction. They, they couldn't appear to the American people as appearing to be God. Uh, perfect. Perfect. Uh, so, yeah, so everything about the speech was terrible in terms of the content. But I did find him getting and cornering the Republicans quite entertaining and very effective. Uh, it was the best I've seen Biden ever, maybe, his best moment ever, certainly in the speech, was when he got them. But yes, he, he promised the usual, we'll tax billionaires, we'll cap drug company, we'll, we'll, we'll go after prescription, prescription drugs, we'll do price controls, um, you know, we'll redistribute wealth, we'll, we'll fix the world, we'll, um, you know, and, and we'll give government more and more and more power and we'll raise taxes on the wealthy. And of course, we won't touch Social Security and Medicare. And everybody will get the fair share, right? Ike says he called himself a capitalist during the speech. That doesn't surprise me. Elizabeth Warren calls herself a capitalist. So nobody's against capitalism. I mean, maybe Bernie is, but nobody's against capitalism because nobody will define capitalism. And the people who actually support capitalism or claim to support capitalism won't define it. And Republicans don't want to define it because... They don't want to pretend that Social Security and Medicare are inconsistent with capitalism. They want to be pro-capitalist and pro-Social Security and Medicare. So if Republicans want to find capitalism, then why isn't Joe Biden a, Republic, a, a, a capitalist? He's just a little bit to the left of Republicans on economic policy. If they're capitalist, he's a capitalist too. So it's, God, this is why I don't watch it, because it just irritates me and makes me angry and is super stupid and it, 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 doesn't, it doesn't matter one way or the other. You know, he is, he is the guy who's fighting inflation. He's going to uh, uh, reduce the deficit. He is going to, uh, he is going to build America back. He's, uh, we're heavily investing in infrastructure. We're bringing chip manufacturing back home. 
I know exactly. I mean, I could have told you a month ago what he was going to say. I mean, the big thing he probably emphasized yesterday was jobs, 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 because the numbers came out a few days before, uh, you know, owned by America. And if you take his speech and compare it to Trump's speech, is it that different in style, obviously, but in terms of uh, content by America, that was both. Hate China, that's both. Jobs, 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 that's both. Yeah, Biden's more boring. Although yesterday, I mean, uh, because of the Republicans. I mean, that's the other thing. Is this used to be kind of a dignified speech and everybody would sit there. And and then you remember when, when maybe you don't remember because you're too young, but uh, Obama gave a, a State of the Union speech and a Republican yelled out in the middle of the speech, liar. I think it was about Obamacare. And he yelled out, liar. And he was fined and he was, you know, and he was ridiculed and it was a big deal out of it. Yesterday, the Republicans interrupted the speech constantly. They yelled out all kinds of things. Not one of them is going to be ridiculed. No, not one of them is. I mean, the dignity of the speech is gone. The content was never there. I, for one, am going to add my vote to the many votes out there who, who, uh, who, uh, who, who argue that... Uh, this should be abandoned. As Andrew says, standing ovation from both sides, not only on saving, Medi on not touching Medicare and Social Security, but standing ovation on both sides on blaming big tech for whatever troubles we have. <laughs> Unbelievable. So, yes, we are more and more and more of a status nation. There's less and less and less any, uh, less and less and less anybody advocating for actually um, uh, for actually any uh, any kind of freedom, particularly not well any kind of freedom, any kind of freedom, because blaming big tech is also an, a, an attack on their free speech. Uh, so it's 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 basically less freedom is the one thing that unites Republicans and Democrats. We want less freedom. We just wanted different measures in different places in, 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 in different, to different extents in different areas. But basically, we're all united about less freedom. And, and there used to be a, a, a segment within the Republican Party that advocated for freedom. But that seemed, to, they, they, that seemed to shrink and shrink and shrink. I mean, there's even the Freedom Caucus in the House, and they've stopped being for freedom. Um, all delivery at State of the Union addresses is boring and awful. Uh, you know, yelling is never appropriate in the middle of somebody else's speech. Uh, in a, if, if you if you have a pretense of dignity, and there, there is no dignity anymore in our politics, we, we we're like the British House of Commons or like the Israeli Knesset or whatever. That that old American dignity in the in the House of Representatives and respect for a president that's gone. It's finished. Yeah, it ended. It, I think it ended with Obama, and now it's completely buried. And and uh, and Republicans are the uh, uh, used to be the ones who insisted tradition, dignity, conservative, conserve. Uh, they're the worst offenders now. Worst offenders now. Thank you for listening or watching the Iran Brooks Show. If you'd like to support the show. We make it as easy as possible for you to trade with me. You get value from listening. You get value from watching. Show your appreciation. You can do that by going to yourownbookshow.com slash support, by going to Patreon, subscribe star, locals, and just making a appropriate contribution uh, on any one, of those, uh, any one of those channels. Also, if you'd like to see the Your Own Book Show grow, please consider sharing our content and, of course, subscribe press that little bell button right down there on YouTube so that you get an announcement when we go live. And for you, those of you who are already subscribers and those of you who are already supporters of the show, thank you. I very much appreciate it.